Pinterest fails and Etsy shops are all common topics of conversation as our society has seen a resurgence in handmade goods. Paint nights have popped up almost overnight as the popularity of crafting has skyrocketed. Young people everywhere are raving about the effects crafting has had on them. They say it's fun, it's enjoyable, it's a stress reliever, and some even say it's their therapy. And research shows that they're right. Research into participation in the arts shows that those who participate have an increase in health and wellness. While participating, they have a decrease in pain, negative thoughts, and negative feelings. And furthermore, those who participate in the arts have an increase in social inclusion, social interaction, and social support networks. Now imagine being excluded, unable to participate in the arts, unable to reap the rewards. For those who receive social support and funding in society, they often can't access the arts. Often case plans for those mar marginalized in society don't go further than meeting their basic needs. But as a social worker, I feel it's important that we go past meeting pe people's basic needs and we provide them with an overall quality of life. And that is why, for my thesis, I focused on the creation and facilitation of a textile-based art group for people who self-identify as disabled. I then researched the results of participation in that group had on their subjective health and wellness. I asked participants to tell me in their own words how it made them feel. Participants told me while at the group, they were calm, they were happy, they were stress-free. They stated that when they finished the group, they were proud of themselves because the project was so big and so hard. But more than that, they stated they felt included in society. They said they were crafters and nobody could take this away from them. They had met new people, they had built their social support system, and they felt that this group had really helped them. Now imagine the effects of regular participation in the arts if nine weeks renders such positive outcomes for clientele. Arts-based programming needs to be available for everyone in society. Everyone needs that opportunity to take home a blanket and be proud of themselves. It would really affect our overall world if everyone could. Imagine if every person in this room, every person in Saskatchewan, every person in Canada had the ability to increase their positive feelings, decrease their negative feelings. They had the ability to reduce their stress, which we all need. Arts-based programming can't be based on ability or socioeconomic status. We have to work to create truly inclusive communities for everyone. Thank you.